The capture of the Saudi super tanker Sirius Star off the coast of Somalia on Saturday has once again highlighted growing worries about piracy in the Gulf of Aden. The, search of, uh, the surge rather, of piracy in waters off Somalia since early this year has become a thorny issue, hampering international trade and security. Grueling negotiations are continuing for the release of the Saudi ship and its crew. Meanwhile, the international community is discussing ways to tackle the problem. Here's Li Ying. The Saudi super tanker is a brand new vessel with a 25-member crew. It was seized more than 450 nautical miles southeast of the Kenyan city of Mombasa. It was the largest ship the pirates have seized so far in that area. The capture is also the farthest out to sea they have accomplished. The tanker's oil cargo alone is worth 100 million US dollars. On Tuesday, an Iranian cargo vessel with a crew of 25 was hijacked in the Gulf of Aden. It was flying a Hong Kong flag, but is operated by the Islamic Republic of Iran shipping lines. The International Maritime Bureau says since April, pirates operating off Somalia have launched 91 attacks, including 39 hijacks. Currently, pirates are holding 16 vessels in the area, with 314 crew members taken hostage. The pirates have been operating with impunity um, in, in these waters, uh, uh, and it is time now, it's well overdue that we send a signal to the pirates uh, that they cannot conduct these criminal uh, operations without sanction. Authorities say the owners of the hijacked Saudi oil super tanker are negotiating with the pirates that are holding it. Saudi Foreign Minister Saud Al Faisal has reiterated his country's intention to take part in an international initiative against piracy in the Red Sea area. On Wednesday, Britain's Foreign Secretary David Miliband said in Beirut that his country would lead European operation against piracy in the Gulf of Aden from next month. Piracy is a scourge wherever it appears anywhere in the world, and at the moment the scourge is focused uh, in the Gulf of Aden. Uh, it's very, very important that the whole world recognizes that this is a threat to trade and to prosperity. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said in his quarterly report to the Security Council that pirates operating in the waters of Somalia are estimated to have netted between 25 million and 30 million dollars in ransom this year. The UN chief said the surge in piracy and armed robbery against ships along the Somali coast has severely affected trade. The grave situation is also contributing to a humanitarian crisis in the country and further weakening its transitional federal government. Stepped-up patrols in the dangerous area are already underway. The Indian Navy has confirmed that their warship, the INS Taba, destroyed a suspected pirate ship that had opened fire in the Gulf of Aden late on Tuesday. Meanwhile, eight suspected Somali pirates were arraigned in a Mombasa court on Tuesday. They were caught about a week ago by crew members from Britain's Royal Navy frigate HMS Cumberland off the Gulf of Aden. Leon, CCTV.